We are live. Ravens, the GM Joe, one third of the top of the line. the mission behind the picture. What's up, guys? Wait a minute. You guys aren't the real Avengers. I can tell Hulk gives it away. Did Liz get a new top? No, we've seen that before. I never with that skirt. She probably stops staring before it gets creepy, though. Too late. You guys are losers. Guys, I'm Joe, one further to Cybernerds. And I'm Revenue GS. And this is week what? 15. Week 15 of our countdown to Infinity War. We are we are this close. This close to Infinity War. I'm I'm trying not to get gassed in it, so please don't act like this. Anyway, this is our review for Spider-Man Homecoming. Like, fam, why are you holding yourself back? I'm not holding myself why back. Are you holding yourself I'm not holding back, myself bro. back. Why are, you, why are you stopping the energy from flowing? I've it's spent, coarse, I've spent months. <laughs> I spent months and months trying to just contain no, myself. No, those were months ago, fam. We're here now, present. No, when we people will die tonight, and you, what? <laughs> this guy, he's talking about movie characters will die, not real people. Hopefully, Jesus, God willing, <laughs> not real people. Anyway, Spider-Man Homecoming is directed by John Watts, uh, produced by Kevin Feige and the Marvel cohort. Um, starring Tom Holland, Michael Keaton, John Favreau. <laughs> what? What? What is that? Do you know what, yeah? <laughs> I haven't been here for a month. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm like this much rusty, in it? Can you just give me a second? Uh, cool, yeah. Let me, let me <laughs> just make sound effects, man. <laughs> Guys, please. What's the sound out right here, fam? Guys, bear, guys, bear with us. Anyway, so Spider-Man Home Company starring Tom Holland, Michael Keaton, John Favreau, Zayen, Zendaya, Donald Glover, uh, Ty Daly, uh, Robert Downey Jr., blah, 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 and everyone else. Do you know what I'm saying? The whole lot of them. Uh, what other information do you guys have? Uh, the budget. Budget, it was, um, what, 75, $175 million? Dollars? And it made Crash. loads. Crash. It made about made about eight hundred, two hundred million off a billion. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? No, almost, almost a hundred. It's almost nine hundred. Oh, well, yeah. So it's like two hundred, two hundred and ninety. It's a hundred. Sorry, I told you, rusty. Hundred and ten million away from a billion. Get me? So I think this is one of the top grossing Spider-Man movies. It's in the top three. I know that anyway. But yeah, what are you ready for this? I'm dying for this, man. All right, uh, we're gonna start with you, just so you know. I'm gonna put that out there. First. Oh, because you're still rusty. <laughs> no, it's still kind of rusty. I just did. A, I just did a whole lot of talking in it. That's I just cool. want to give you a That's chance. Cool. All right, three, two, one, go. General right. thoughts. So my thoughts on this, you know what? This is a perfect introduction to the new Spider-Man. Obviously, we got him in Civil War, but just to get this brand new Peter Parker um, rolling. I absolutely loved it. I, re I said it before, I'll say it again. Uh, from uh, Civil War, he was about to be the best, my favourite Spider Man up to date, and he came through, delivered. I absolutely loved the movie. Uh, I really like the movie. I think it's good. I love Tom Holland as Spider Man. I like the new universe that they, the Spider Man universe that they show us. I love that uh, Tony Stark's in this, and I also love that Peter Parker is the correct age. In high school, I think that's one of the biggest things for me that uh, separates this from all of the other movies. Um, uh, one thing I also like that you just mentioned is um, his relationship with Tony. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really cool thing to do. Uh, not sure if it's tied up to anything that's about to come with uh, Infinity War, but uh, in 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 my mind, it's like if anything is to happen to Tony uh, Tony Stark, and based on what I've read, the the recent uh, uh, Spider Man. It could, the mantle could easily be passed on to, to Peter Parker. Uh, let's just move quickly. Yeah, well, yeah, we're yeah. just going to roll straight into the story, innit? So the story of this is you've got this kid, Peter Parker, great power. He wants great responsibility, but his dad, Tony Stark, dad, <laughs> is telling him, no, stay in school, be a good boy. Um, do you know what? Like, I really like the whole aspect of what's going on. Peter wants more responsibility. Tony's trying to keep him in check. 
Then he goes over the edge and everything just like, goes like like any son would do. I'm pretty sure you did that when you was a kid. Bro. Let's not talk about me. Let's talk about <laughs> but yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Um, uh, I'm really happy that the focus wasn't just Spider Man going against a villain. You know, the the, the usual uh, back and forth. You know, superhero villain and the fact that it just came years after uh, what happened in New York with mm-hmm. the Avengers uh, carrying on from there somewhere in where is he from Manhattan? Manhattan. Manhattan. Yeah. Um, so you know the the way they piece the story together, brilliant. And obviously, showing the the classroom kids as well, the whole relationship with other characters that's coming through. Yeah, that's wrong. Spider Man's from Queens. Anyway, oh, uh, next Brooklyn Phoenix from Brooklyn. Yeah, um, uh, Captain, Captain America. America. So uh, let's move on to acting, isn't it? I think the only actor I really want to talk about is Michael Keaton, isn't it? For mm. me, he's the standout in this whole movie. Like everyone else is great, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, Tony Stark does his thing, Robert Downey Jr. does his thing, Tom Holland does his thing. But Michael Keaton stands out for me because he elevates like the Marvel villain. He plays, uh, he plays a dad trying to make it for his family. In it, that's that's the character he plays. He doesn't play a bad guy. He just plays a guy trying to make some money to support his family. In it, and it just goes too far. In it, and I like that about him. You know, I hundred percent agree with you on that. I mean, it just shows that. You know when things don't go right and you know he falls on to the you know to the to the poor you know and then you just gotta do what you got and that's how you you know raise rise up and sometimes it's not in the best situation and he made the best situation that he could based on what happened and so you know what i i agree with you one that's thing it. i loved about this movie is the way they just slotted this in to the marvel cinematic universe obviously this movie happens like in real life, like six years after the mm-hmm. Avengers, but they go back eight years and they show you how the Chitari attack and how regular people responded to it, and then that how that had a trickle down effect, and how that made regular people now super villains. And do you know what I'm saying? We don't know what other weapons are out there. I love Donald Glover in this movie; he gets a short cameo, oh. but I'd love to see him progress Wait, into, the, into the Prowler. I'd love to see that from the comic books. All go right, ahead. Cool. Look, let's just move on to the technical. And directing stuff. Now, I gave this like ten seconds because it's Marvel, <laughs> innit? All of this stuff is a star. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, does you you go on, go on, you do it. Um, I like the way they 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 showed uh Peter with with the suit. Obviously, the technical stuff, you know, just just show the way they showed the suit. Because usually, the suit is just the suit itself. But mm-hmm. the way you know, with with the the CGI stuff that came through, well delivered, and it's something new as well for us to interact with. Obviously, your suit. Okay, the one thing about the suit I'll say is I love how they made it like Iron Man upgraded the suit, the training wheels protocol. I love that because in the comic books and the animated series, Spider-Man had all of these gadgets in his suits and obviously Spider-Man, Peter Parker is an inventor, but I love that Tony Stark did it because he is still in school and he's going to get there. Uh, fighting scenes, what you got for that? Fighting scenes, uh, do you know what? I thought the action was alright, do you know what I'm yeah, saying? It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't top-notch, it was alright. It wasn't nothing right. crazy, but again... Um, like I love the bit on the on the ferry mm-hmm. where he's trying to hold up the ship. Yeah, and uh, you know he's got the you know the stuff's exploding from the side of the webs. Um, oh, yeah. So that's called for. Uh, that's, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, super legit. Yeah. Two, two, one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, we didn't even talk about our rating before we did this, naughty boys. Uh, what do you mean the rating? No, the rating comes after. Yeah, we're rating it now. Yeah, we're rating it now. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, you said, oh, yeah, we, I said, we didn't in, talk about oh, it. As in like, oh, okay. Yeah, I, said, like, I don't know what you're going to rate this movie. Right? <laughs> sure, um, what am I going to rate this movie? Uh, I'll pop, I might rate it higher than it should, but that's only because me me personally, what what I just, like about character. Just be you. Um, so I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a four, man. A four? I'm going to give it a four. That's it. I'm going to give it a four. I expected you to give it more than a four because I'm going to give it a four out of five sofas. Oh, you know what? Maybe because I've been with Sam, like, he's just been like, with his rating, just been murky movies. So, like, maybe to Sam, like, if I say a four, you give it 3.5 or something. I don't know. I've mean, I just been with Sam, like. I'm not going to, I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm not going to talk about Sam because he's not here, But, uh, <laughs> I'm giving this four out of, so I guess it gets the official four out of five. Are oh, you giving it a four too? Yeah, I'm giving it a four. I, I thought I was, I was giving it a higher. Cause no, I, I, did, I thought you was going to go higher than four. I thought you was going to go 4.5 or even a five. Uh, you know, a lot of people didn't, didn't, didn't say much. You know, they, they didn't think this movie was like that great. It's like, okay, the movie's okay. I thought, the movie's more than okay. Like, that's, that's the kind of feedback I got from this movie. So obviously me saying a four, I'm, I'm, uh, To be honest here, yeah, I think like this movie is not like 100% aimed at me. Mm. But I like Spider-Man. And I like what they do with Spider Man in this movie. It's a really good Spider Man movie. Yeah, man. And he put me, he put me back on Spider Man because I, uh, I fell off the comic books for a minute, 
And then she was like, oh, I forgot how much fun Spider-Man is. So I kind of went back to, to Spider-Man. Though. Guys, look, what's more important than what we think is what you think? Jump in the comment section below and let us know. Do you think it's three sofas? Do you think it's four sofas? Do you think it's zero sofas? Just, you know, just go ham in the comment section below. I don't even need to say that because you do it. <laughs> you do it anyway. Um, don't forget to jump on Patreon, guys, and help out the cause. The cyber nerds, okay, we're getting there better every day. Yeah. Help us keep the lights on. I'm Joe, one further to the side of And I'm Raven, your GS. And we'll see you on the next review, trailer reaction, nerd banner, whatever it is. Just make sure you hit that notification so you can get notified every time we drop a video. And don't forget, Infinity War review is coming very soon. I can't wait. Peace. <laughs>